I'm here with seven-time Mr. Olympia Phil Heath, and today we're training arms. Phil is a legend in the sport of bodybuilding, winning the Mr. Olympia every year from 2011 to 2017. His physique is considered one of the best and well-balanced of all time. There's no denying his arms are fucking massive, so today we're gonna see if I can survive his Olympia arm workout. All right, Phil. I'd like to know the size of my opponent before I start. Same goes for in the gym. Ah, uh, dude. Your t-shirts probably turn into tank tops out of fear. Just about 21. That's not bad, cool. Just huh? about 21. Yeah. Yeah. Probably 17. 17? 17 right. and a half. That's which, which would be good art. Right, definitely. Okay. Right. All right. Uh, like 16 and a quarter. 16, 16 and a half. Quarter. 16 and a half? Plus 16 and okay, a half. I'll take that. So. It's not bad. So I was close. Did you get a lot of forearm work in? When I was single. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there yeah. you go. 15 and a half. Yeah. My right side's way bigger than my left. Yeah. And I'm not single. I won't show I won't show you the left one. That one's pretty mean. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I get two wraps around. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. So like 12? Yeah. 12 and a half? 12 and a half. Not bad. Not a couple bad. inches to go. It's all right. Not bad. Not yeah. Bad. So the I want to compete. Okay. I think I can't do it. So I want to do it next year. So I, I want to learn from you today. I think everyone else wants to learn how to train some arms because 21 and a half inches. So yeah. I want to see your Olympia with the arm workout. And okay. Tips, tricks. And let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Now, a lot of guys, when they think of arms, they always think of the biceps. Typically, the tricep is about more than a two third. thirds of the arm, right? Two thirds of the arm, yeah. right? Yes. So, you want to start off with that. And the tempo isn't going to be like, even after a one count, it jumps back up. We're going to control, 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 control it back. Exactly. So, okay. we're going to work the eccentric muscles as well. But I see a lot of people change how much fast they go. Yeah. And they can't control it. And they're focused on too much weight. Why? Because they want to impress themselves and other people. Yeah. And we see that all over the place on social yeah. media. The way I was able to win multiple Olympias, and even before that become very successful and have more growth, was that I wanted to master each pin. Wow. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to build what? Really bad habits. Yeah. My arm's about 90 degrees, right? I can let it come up here a little bit, but I don't want to make sure that I'm leaning. Okay? I want to keep my back up tight, back, lower back tight, chest up. And I'm just kind of here. I'm making sure I get in that speed. I've actually noticed a couple of your videos, you do movements and you have your foot up. Yes. Okay. And that's just to add more level of difficulty for me to keep the core tight. Okay. I don't need to grab this very, you know, hefty. A lot of times you start seeing people, they feel like as it gets heavier, they have to grab this yeah. really hard. And they're coming right here. And they're doing that. Yeah. Here, I'm allowing it to come up. That's how I'm telling myself. I allowed you to come up. Now I'm pushing you down. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. One of the major things I noticed is that breathing. Yeah. We want to make sure we're breathing. We want to make this feel like these are working, but this doesn't have to work. And I know you're focused because you're in here. Yeah. I keep on every rep and push it down. Yes. Yeah. The minute it starts getting maybe a fairly challenging, we get more focused and we think, yes, this is where I got to be. No. Even if it's super heavy, I recognize that's too heavy for yeah. me. So then I come back and I put it here. And I come here, okay, this is good for me. Get these fibers going. Get, get, grow some striations. Is slowing it down and like controlling it, is that what you kind of bring out the detail and How make much, it possible? Yes, because okay. it's more impressive for me to hold this and be able to talk to you and all this other stuff while you're seeing it flex. Yeah. Then me repping these out super fast and all of that. Okay. Most guys, if they were to hold a child and they, they don't have hips, yeah. Their arms start shaking yeah. because they don't have those muscles being recruited properly. A girl, she can hold a baby forever because she knows how to do it. Back in the day, when all these pictures were taken, we would have photographers that put us in magazines. They needed to get the perfect shot, the magic shot for the cover. How did they get that? We had to hold that weight oh, yeah. for a long period of time. And, yeah. and it was like holding it for a long period of time. Does that carry over to posing? Kind of? yeah. Yes, because when you're posing, yeah. you've got to know, wow, I'm doing side, side tricep. I got the conditioning part down. Okay. Now I know what I'm supposed to be feeling. So where I don't have to do what? Stare in the mirror all damn day. Just like how when we were kids, we wanted to do this. Yeah. At first we would look in the mirror to see if it would move. Here we get like a little bit of movement. Then after a while you're like, I can do that all day. I can do that all day. Yeah. Do 
go to failure or rep ranges or how does that work? It's more importantly to just get your form down. I don't put a standard on how many reps it is to get myself warmed up. I just want to know what I'm doing. Yeah. I could put a number, 20 reps, something like that, 15, 20 reps, I get a couple sets of those. But that's where you have to focus on yourself. Looking at other people all the time, comparing yourself to others will distract you from getting your own job done. You're ruining your own race. If you focus on weight, you focus on the progression, just getting yeah. the weight up. Yes. I would never expect like this information because this guy literally looks like he can like press the stack. But I think that's the point. You look like you can do it. Yes. But you're not doing it. It's not necessary. Yeah. Ferrari's parked outside. It looks fast. It's not the fastest one in the world though. True. I like that. It's a good analogy. And does it have to prove to you? No. But you know it's fast. You can see Phil when he's doing it, he presses down. You can see like the fibers like underneath the skin is going like this at the bottom. They're talking. They're talking, yeah. Guys, listen. The time under tension is what builds this physique. Okay? He's gonna be posing on stage and he's gonna be holding that pose for what, five, 10 seconds? Yeah. If you could get to each rep of 10, holding it for five to 10 seconds. Wow. Yeah. That's real strength. Yeah. That's not being a wuss. Some people say, well, I could do the whole stack, but you can't hold that weight right there for five seconds each rep. Yeah. So how strong really are you? This is such valuable information, holy Show them how long you can hold it. Let's do a five count. One, two, three, three, three. Right, we're good. Cool. So like, even like your working sets, are you, you can hold it yeah. and engage in a conversation with yes. it. Yes. Why not? We wow. want to show real strength with this. Imagine, you're doing 55 pounds. Some people say, oh man, it's only 55 pounds. I'm telling you, try it. No, I feel it's like, you gym, at my gym, I'm doing like, yeah. even 100. Of course. And that feels harder than the 100. Right, yeah. How does your muscle know the difference? Yeah. People think you just squat 700 to have big claws. If that's but, true, then, I don't know, man. The people that I see hit those numbers don't normally have the size plus the separation and conditioning. Yeah. Normally, yeah. I gotta hit one more set. I gotta get. I gotta. They say practice makes perfect. I think that's complete BS. Because what if you practice bad habits? I see people practice bad habits all the time. Are they really hanging with pros that have achieved high level status? When you're in proximity of people that haven't done it at the top, you can only get so much. Some things are caught, not taught. We want to make sure we're focusing on a, on a 55 inch screen TV that is now 5K, 6K, 8K, next to a 1080p person that's standing next to you on stage that didn't focus on all that detail, all those pixels, yeah. right? How I was able to beat guys that were outweighing me by 50, 60 pounds was just like that. Show more dots per square inch on the television screen and you make them look like they're 1080, they're, they're basic high def. And I'm, you know, 4K, OLED, you know, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, yeah. Unfortunately, you guys have been steered freaking wrong. And I'm yeah. just calling it what it is. I basically feel like I'm gonna go home now and like, I have to like relearn. Pretty that, much. But that's the beauty of it. Yeah. You're keeping an open mind. We're just hitting the first exercise of this workout. We're gonna do the same thing, same rules Under apply. Hand. Underhand, okay. this grip right here, not here. Okay. okay. It feels so weird this being hard right now. Oh my God. It's really not that much of the stack right now. Nope. And we know he's not BSing because his face is turning red a little bit. But that's good. Yeah. But instead of focusing on how much more difficult it is, what he's gonna reinforce is his technique. Normally when it gets harder, we lose our technique and our fundamentals of how we got there in the first place. Hold it. Keep it there. Keep it there. Breathe. I want you to breathe. There we go. Slowly, slowly. Slowly, breathe, chin up, chin up. There we go. You're showing everybody in here that you're the freaking man. Wow. Yes, sir. Literally, usually when I do like triceps, you kind of feel a little bit in the shoulder. Bit, bit, the biceps yeah. bit in the forearm a little bit. Yeah. It's literally just, it only feels. That's right. Right there. That's what we do. 
request. Uh, you're, I'm afraid to get my arms too big? Hell no, man. Like, yeah. Arnold and those guys will come in here and change for three hours. So we're okay, plus we've got more supplements than every super stuff there is. This is what it's like training with seven-time Mr. Olympia right here. Good. All right, so this is 25 pounds. Really? 25 pound dumbbell. I want to show you something. Okay. How I can actually get some pump on these arms, okay? Just using these. Dude, I feel like they don't even have dumbbells here because I use like, I feel like you can throw the 130s. Yeah, but it's the point. I don't have to try to do that to go get where I want to go. Start small, master the hell out of it, make it your bitch, and then move up. Look at that side, right here. Please, look at this move. Look at that move. Holy sh! If I'm doing 10 repetitions, at least nine out of 10 have to be perfect. It's like if someone were to fight, why would you throw a lazy punch or a lazy kick? Because if you practice that bad habit, you get your ass beat in combat. This is my combat. How do I build weapons with poor structure, with laziness, with procrastination? This is what's fortifying my physique so then when I go compete, I can destroy any man. How do I do that if I'm not doing this perfect? Chasing perfection. I know I'm not perfect. You were saying like the average gym bar, like maybe like oh, they get 30% of their reps. They're shooting free throws. They're doing dumbbell curls as if it was Shaquille O'Neal doing free throws. That's, that's not a good percentage. That's not a good percentage. You guys don't watch NBA. That's not good. Yeah. I want you to start right here and I want you to extend down. I want you to extend down. Yeah. <laughs> so almost like you have a creature pad, right? Almost. Kind of. Now let's do it with our head up. I have that tendency to look down. Yeah, I know, I know. We all do, we're admiring our work. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, huh? we got this. I've done this in my state. That was just 10 reps. Instead of feeling insecure that I'm doing 35s, and I'm seven times the Olympic, walking in with some body this morning. I'm saying, I'm gonna prove that I'm gonna walk out with a better pump than anyone in here using just 35s. I'm gonna stay with the 25s, I think. I don't blame you. I haven't mastered that bitch that's yet. The, they, yeah. See, that's why I like him. Yeah. There was no ego involved. He was doing a self-assessment of what he wants, how he feels, and said, you know what? I'm gonna stay right here right now, because I'm gonna do what? I'm gonna master this right now. You have a conversation with me? <laughs> How's the weather outside today? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. I was just admiring my work. Yeah. <laughs> like Arnold said, I'm coming all night. You know, like yeah. I'm Do you agree with Arnold? Does the pump feel better than coming? <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, no. I don't, oh, no. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. He, he, was, yeah. he was definitely smoking some, some weed on that one. I would agree. He was probably some. Probably some a little bit more strong than that. Yeah, something yeah. stronger. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever drop something underneath your couch, you probably can't grab it. Is your wife at the other for you? It's like move the couch yourself. <laughs> to come go grab something? Like, <laughs> these things are knocking under a couch. Like, <laughs> I mean, they, they're too big. They yeah, stick out. So you got to make sure the rear delt, the side delt, the front delt are working. I'm almost, I'm almost sick in their face. I mean. Breathe more. Need that oxygen in that brain so we can remember what the hell we're doing. I'm sweating like I've done like a bunch of deadlifts. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Yeah. I was just asking Phil, I was like, do other pros train like this? And he's like, no. He's like, that's why they're gonna watch this video and say Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They knew that when I was ready, it was an ass whooping coming. So typically you come here and do what? Go Extend. like this, yeah. right? Yeah. But this is wrong, and I'm gonna tell you why. When you go right here, your elbows get blocked out and it starts developing some elbow discomfort. We're gonna come here, come back like this, and instead of going forward right here, we're gonna come back and we're gonna press up. I fucked up my elbow thing. Uh... Of course. For many years I didn't do them because I messed mine up. But when you try this, yeah. when you try this, <laughs> see nothing in here yeah. when he does this. Typical skull crusher. This is what all y'all are doing online. Come here. 
<laughs> yeah. That even feels like that could be a working set. You're just pushing down on me there. Sure could, yeah. I don't feel like I'm lifting, I feel like I'm sculpting. I said, guess what? You're bodybuilding. Yeah. You feel the fibers, you feel yeah. that. Instead of just like your joints and all this other shit. <laughs> you ever get the guy that wants you to spot him on bench press and you know damn well he's got too much weight on the bar? Mm -hmm. I've told guys, hey, I'm not spotting you, bro, because I just saw you like shaking on 275. You want me to spot you for 315. I don't feel comfortable, man. Yeah. Because now I got to catch that and what if it, I'm, I'm going to injure myself. So we're going to do some concentration curls, but we're going to do them standing. Okay. okay? Watch my wrist. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a forearm curl. You're gonna feel it all in here when you do that. When you're right here, you don't. When you're right here, for some reason, they activate just like a little bit different. And if I have to get a little bit of body English, this is a little heavy, I can't do that. But here's the problem with that. You start doing too many reps like that, you're getting more of everything else instead of getting quality repetition right here. So is there ever, a time and place for cheat reps because a lot of people say like towards the end of your set. Yeah, you know? toward the end, and, yeah. and if you got to get that last one or like a partial, I'm I'm good with it. Okay. But if that's how you did majority of your reps, that's you, you're probably not mastering this part because if you're cheating, you're not mastering. It's just softball in there. There you go. Actually, no, probably bigger than a softball. What's what's the next size up? Softball, <laughs> soccer ball. You got a soccer ball in his arm. That's great. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was 10. I'm over here sweat. All right, you tell me how you feel. I feel like, I feel like that, that felt like four sets deep. Yeah. Holy shit. So I'm, I'm doing 25. Yep. When would you say it's appropriate for the 30s? Like what? Like what would be like my measurement of? Can like, you do more than 12 with without failing? I want the last set to be better than your first set. In every exercise you do. And like last rep and everything too. Everything. That is the goal. You may not get it, but that's still the goal. That's still the goal. I want you guys to look at this gentleman right here. See? Too fat. We're not gonna punk them because that's not cool. Done. That one's wicked. Yeah, I felt that one the most of all of them so far. Yes. Wow. It's good. As someone who's competing for the first time, what would be like one thing of advice you would tell them? Over prepare. Over prepare. Because <laughs> how do you think you're gonna do well if you don't know how to pose? Yeah. Oh, you're, you're, what you're about to see right now. I don't even know. You're, this is gonna be like a circus right now. So let's hit a back last grip. Back last grip. Last grip pose. That's a back relax. I want you to hit a back oh. last grip. After a while, you have to rehearse without the mirror. Yeah. Because the mirror is not going to be on stage. They would always tell me, Phil, you're not the widest guy. You know, he's very narrow. Yeah. What I'm seeing right now is that you're actually fairly quad dominant. <laughs> yeah, my quads are. Quads, you put in some work, so that's yeah. good. We need more delt work. We need more delts and more yeah. upper chest. Yeah. Upper chest, really? We need more upper okay. chest. I do wear the V-neck shirt, and this is popping out. Oh, yeah. It's we have a table just like... Oh, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All you guys and girls would like to take photos of yourself, take a side shot of yourself, and show the way your arm looks from the side. The majority of you probably have very, very light rear delts. Very small. We all know. People don't like to work on things they don't see. You can't see it, yeah. Here's the cool part that he, what he's doing. He's not <laughs> carrying luggage, having his arms way out here like a lot of these other guys do. And then they're not like, <laughs> you don't have to be over here like you're riding a Harley. Yeah. You know, when I see people doing that, I'm like, this is stupid. This is so silly. Come here, chest up, and then roll it out just a little bit. See how I rotated my shoulder a little bit? Like this. Yep. And then still looking this way. Then here's the best part. Take your right arm, squeeze into the shoulder. See how your chest got all feathered yeah. up top? 
That, those are those extra little yeah, yeah. So from here, quarter ones. So like this to... Yeah, see? Yeah. And then you're going to learn how to flex these. 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 You get too much of a cramp. Look how. <laughs> there you go. Oh, well, that's tough, man. Yeah. I feel like everyone says posing is the hardest of like the, of like the it's workout. It's a workout. Stuff. It's a workout oh, in man. itself. I want them to see everything. All the little sh Yeah. I want them to see it all. And then when I set it, then they're like, oh my god. Back shots are so important because you can't see no, it. Don't they say you went for the back? If you don't have a back, forget it, man. You're going to get exposed. I want you to roll this. Yeah, see? You catch that? He was right here before. Now I want him to come here. That was one call out. Imagine holding each pose for 10 seconds. You want to get your body adapted to where you could do three full call outs consecutively without, without passing out. But don't hold your breath when you're doing these poses, okay? Yeah. At all. Because you will pass out. Have you ever passed that before? Almost. Pro tip, Mr. Pro tip, seven time tip. When you're doing the cables, when you're doing these, yeah. think of it as front double bicep. Front double bicep. See, now I'm giving you all the damn secret. And some of y'all are gonna try to make an ebook out of it. You better send me a freaking check, all right? Man, thank you so much. Yeah. Dude, best in the world for a reason. I, I feel like I gotta go home. I'm changing like my whole entire training thing. I'm inspired to like, just completely change everything. Invaluable, hope you guys found this useful. I'm excited for you. Oh yeah, man. Thank you so much, yeah. I appreciate you. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.